Hello students, welcome back in your e-learning classes. I hope you all are well my lovely students and I think that you all are enjoying your online studies. Dear students, do you know the benefits of online studies? Through online studies, it brings education right to your home. You can learn anything, anytime, whatever you want in your comfort. And it also helps to work more comfortably and conveniently. So, you should never stop learning. So, I hope that you will all enjoy this lesson and video too. So, without any further ado, let's start our chapter, Plants Around Us. Students, first of all, I want to give you the introduction of this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn about plants types of plants and uses of plants. Now open your book. In the first line, it is written that plants are of different types. Some plants are big and some are small. We depend on plants for many things. It means that plants are of different shapes and sizes and we all depend on plants. Some plants are big, some are small, some are very small. Now let's talk about types of plants. In this topic, we will learn about trees, shrubs or bushes, herbs, creepers and climbers. Now let's read from the book. So the question is, what is a tree? Tall and big plants are called trees. They have strong and thick stems, mango tree, Banyan, neem, people, and coconut tree are some trees. So this is a picture of a tree, an apple tree. A plant those have thick and strong stems means this is a stem of a plant. So if any plant have strong and thick stems that is called trees. Next one is shrub. There are some plants that are much smaller than trees. Their stems are hard and woody. They are called shrubs. They are also known as bushes. Rose, hibiscus and tulsi are shrubs. Let's see some more examples. Rose, champa, croton, tomato. All these plants have woody stems. They are small but strong plants. That is why they are known as shrubs. Now, let's read the next para that is herbs. Some plants are very small. They have weak, soft and green stems. They are called herbs. Spinach, mint, coriander and parsley are herbs. Here are some pictures of mint, coriander, tulsi. As you can see, they are very small plants with soft and greeny stems. That's why they are called herbs and also they all smell different. Now let's read the next type of a plant that is climber. Some plants have very weak stem and they need support for their stems to grow. These plants are called climbers. Some common climbers are grapevine, pea plant and money plant. Here are some features of climbers with picture. As you know that climbers have weak stem, so they cannot grow straight on their own. As it is a weak plant, so it needs support of walls, sticks or other plants to grow. Here are some pictures of climbers, grapevine, money plant and pea plant. Now let's read the last type of a plant that is creepers. There are some weak plants which grow along the ground. These plants are called creepers. Pumpkin and watermelon are common creepers. Here are a white picture of pumpkin and watermelon. As you can see, they all grow along the ground and they have weak stem also. That's why they are called creepers. Some more examples are bottle guard. Cucumber, strawberry, tomato, watermelon, 
and brinjal. All these plants are called creepers. I hope that you all have understood the types of plants. Now children, do you know what does a plant need? A plant needs air, water and sunlight to grow. As they are very important for plants, they help the plants to make their own food. Now children, as you can see, here are the parts of a plant. They are flower, fruit, leaf, stem and roots. Now, let's see the uses of plants. Plants are useful to us in many ways. Plants clean the air to help us breathe. We get food from plants. They give us fruits and vegetables. We get food grains like rice and wheat from plants. We also get pulses like dal and gram from them. Some plants produce nuts. We eat almonds and cashew nuts which are seeds of plants. Plants give us tea, coffee and sugar. Some plants give us spices like cloves and cardamom. We get oils used for cooking from seeds of plants. Now come to the next para. There are some more uses of plants. Let's read. Plants like tulsi and neem are used for making medicines. We get cotton and jute from plants. Cotton is used to make clothes and quilts. Jute is used for making mats and bags. Rubber from rubber trees is used to make footballs, erasers and tires. Plants give us flour which is used to make perfumes. We get paper from plants. We get wood from trees. Wood is used to make furniture. So here the reading and explanation is over. So I hope that you all have come to know about the types of plants and uses of plants. In the next part, we will have our book work and copy work. So till then, take care. Thank you.